The Ghana CEO Summit, which is a major gathering of chief executives and captains of industry, will be used to push for a Digital Economy Act this year. The growing pace of digital solutions introduced into the economy, according to the executive officer of the Ghana CEOs Network, makes the act necessary. Speaking to Joy Business after the launch of this year's event, NSD Graft a jury hinted such law will help facilitate government's digitalization agenda. The CEO summit over the years has influenced many policy measures to the benefit of the business community in Ghana. As this year's edition focuses on the digital economy, captains of industry will expect a sustainable policy drive that will respond to the disruptions caused by the COVID-19 pandemic. According to the chief executive of the CEO's network, Ernest de Graft Adrian, a digital economy act will ensure that all digital interventions are aligned with the vision of the country. Efforts that must be applauded and encouraged. But you mentioned it from Bank of Ghana, from, from NCA and all that. So that's not how it's supposed to. You're supposed to have an act that will um, really steer all these initiatives, like I said earlier. When there's an act, it's a law. You know, I don't know social media uh, um, laws in Ghana, I don't know, you know, but we have um, Cyber Security Act, you have this, you have that, you have that, but we don't have a central digital economy act that will uh, put all this together. Speaking on interventions by the Bank of Ghana, First Deputy Governor of the Bank of Ghana, Max Opoko Fare, disclosed that a regulator has issued a three-tier digital merchant account to facilitate acceptance of digital payments between small and medium enterprises and their customers. To make it easier for businesses to receive and make online payments, some payment service providers licensed by the Bank of Ghana have been permitted to provide merchant acquiring and payment aggregation service for businesses. The solutions are designed and made available to businesses in a manner that does not impose high infrastructure costs and complex connectivity requirements. In furtherance of this, the Bank of Ghana has issued a three-tier merchant digital account with proportionate onboarding requirements to guide financial service providers in meeting the peculiar needs of small and medium-scale enterprises. This policy change is expected to facilitate acceptance of digital payments by small and medium-sized enterprises so as to provide convenience to their customers and also expand the geographical reach of their businesses. The theme for the summit, which is slated for May 17, is digital transformation, powering business and government research for a post-pandemic economic resilience.